us. Also, though, we know that the universe is expanding, and we know this through the work of many people, but one of which you know probably the best is Edwin Hubble, who in his telescope started to kind of capitalize on concepts that others had discovered, and he noticed something called the law of redshift. Now, what he noticed is if you're looking and measuring light spectrum through of, of distant objects in the galaxies in the universe, if those objects are moving in one direction, they give you one type of light shift. So, for example, if they are coming toward you, they bend toward blue in the light spectrum. If they're moving away from you, though, they bend toward red. And as he looked out at the universe, he realized that things are bending toward red. In other words, things are moving away from us. The universe is expanding. And how, why does that matter? Well, think of it this way. If we had a balloon and on there we drew galaxies, as this expands, you're going to see that these are going to start moving away from no matter where you are. If you're here, if you're here, if you're here, if you're in the middle of this whole thing, no matter where you are, each point of data is moving away from you. Make sense? That's what we're seeing. Now, why does that matter? Because it's run the clock backwards. That means there's a point in time in which all these things were tightly condensed. And from that point of cosmic singularity, everything is expanding. So between this and the second law of thermodynamics, we have two good reasons to believe that we are in a universe that is expanding. And therefore, it has a beginning from which it expands. Does that make sense?